Listen, my mother, Johnny Mae Gray Little, always told me, don't you worry about having babies. When it's time for you to have your babies, I'm going to come wherever you are and teach you everything you need to know about birth and babies. Unfortunately, my mother passed away three months before I got married and about a year before I had my first child. So I don't know what she would have told me. Um, I've read books. Some of it sounded like just sound knowledge about birth. Um, but others of it, I, I was just positive my mother would never tell me to do some of those things. Um, it just wasn't what we did. I didn't even think to ask my grandmothers who was still here. Um, one of the regrets that I have, I never asked them, you know, tell me about what it was like to birth when you were birthing. Never did. So I don't even know what they would have told me. Ten things that every African-American woman should know about birth is about telling some of these things that we no longer tell and um, that we no longer talk about because as African-American women, that was very much a part of our culture. There are things that we knew. There are things we understood about birth. And a couple of generations later, we don't know some of the things that we once knew. So 10 things that every African-American woman should know about birth is about reigniting, relighting the candle, you know, um, taking responsibility for the things that we can know about birth. It's about blending the traditional and those things that we can gather from the past with the modern day things and technologies that we need to understand to birth well in the environment that we're in right now. It's about considering what we need to know um, as we are going into medical environments and dealing with our primary care providers and, and all of those things that will influence how we birth. All of those things will. It's about gaining some of the insights, things that we might not, I, my grandparents, grandmothers might not even need to know about because we're in this, we're in a different time. So it's about answering some of those questions. You know, some of it you might look and say, I knew this already, but others of it, you're going to be like, what? I constantly <laughs> run across those, what? <laughs> what is that? So I'm looking forward to spending time with you. I'm hoping that you will come and spend time with me at at least one of the virtual hangouts, that you'll come and we can talk about birth. Reclaiming our birth rights and those things that our grandmothers, great grandmothers and so on were passed down to us is going to take our own initiative. We have to go. We have to go and we have to talk about it. We have to ask the questions and all of those things. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to deal with some things. We're going to talk about what things you need to know. So when you are embarking on uh, your birth and whether you're, you might be the, the partner, you might be the grandmother, things that will help you navigate this well. That's what this is about. And so I hope to see you there. 10 things that every African-American woman should know about birth. It is only the beginning. There are so many things that we need to know. Because it is in us to birth well. Whether you're the pregnant mom, whether you're the partner, the support person, or whether you're a person like me who says, I think I might be called to this. You know, I wouldn't be surprised. It might be in your DNA. Because African American women have been birthing for a long time and birthing well and involved in birth and things about birth and understanding birth. But we've just forgotten. That's what Sankofa means. It's not taboo to go back and fetch what you've forgotten. We just forgot. So let's go back and let's fetch a few things. Let's just fetch a few things about birth. Hope to see you there.